Hello everybody, I'm Koshi Sushi. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. In the last episode, we got to this mysterious facility, and we beat these six uh, Hexagon Brother people, and we caught their Shadow Pokemon, which took forever. But anyways, um, today we're actually, or in today's, in today's episode, we are going to continue on with the facility, and inside this room, there's a few Pokeballs, there's a few items, this place doesn't really serve much of a purpose, and um, un well, it never really served much of a purpose, but it did in Pokemon Coliseum, just a little bit. But I don't want to spoil it for those who have not seen my Coliseum LP, which is actually I have gotten comments saying like um, they want to watch my Coliseum LP before they continue on watching the XD Gale by himself. And oh God, cutscene again. Sound off. One, two, three, four, five. Six. I'm not doing the voice again. Seven, eight. Yeah, these guys are stupid. Also, in the last episode, I did talk about how um, the Shadow Pokemon I will be using, um, and I said it was Feel. Um, now, I did get some comments, um, and yes, I did read Episode Five's comments because I'm recording this like right after I uploaded Episode. Five. Well, not right after, but on the day I uploaded Episode Five, because unfortunately, this is actually the second time I had to record this. Thanks a lot. Stupid laptop uh, crashing with my microphone. But an anyways, as I was saying, um, I, I chose Feel uh, mainly because I don't know it it's pretty good when it uh, evolves into a Walreen. And then I I never really used Feel before in like any Pokemon game. I've used all the other ones a couple times in other Pokemon games, but I've never had a chance with Feel. So I'm oh frick it. Okay, for those of you who watch Pokemon Coliseum. You remember these guys, freaking ninjas that drop down from the ceiling. But anyways, so yeah, I actually want to try Spiel, and then I looked at some of the comments saying um, which Pokemon they recommend. Um, some of you got, uh, some people recommended Gulpin out of all of them, and uh, saying Gulpin has like probably the best, uh, best move set or something like that. I don't remember. Um, apparently, you all said Houndor was the worst. Um, I don't know. Well, Houndor's good. Well, they were saying Houndor was good, but it's the worst choice to have, like, near the end. I don't know, it was your guys' opinions. So, I can't say anything about it. Alright, so anyways. Talking about the actual game now. Uh, right, let's just use, uh, let's just use this, uh, attack, and- Oh, also! Let's just use this attack, that was great commentary right there. You're dead, right? You're on a Pokemon? You're dead? Right? Awesome, you're dead. I think. Let me check. Yep, we're dead. Or, you're dead. Murdered. But anyways, I did read some of your comments, um, saying which nicknames I should nickname Espeon and, uh, re-nickname Teddy Ursa, and I found some really good nicknames, so I might use those, but you won't get to find that out until, like, four episodes later, when we can actually get out of this place, because I want to cover this place first. So anyways, um, I think what you want to do is, I think you go to the right. I believe you go to the... I hate you. No running in the hall. <sighs> Except for Peon, Javion, Javion. I don't know how to say it. Oh, her. It's a her. It's a her. Oh, God. Don't do it on Taylor. All right. I'm just... All right. Here's the thing. Um, so I tried to make up some different rules. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this in the last episode because I kind of forgot. But um, originally I had the idea of uh, whenever... Uh, I don't want to show too many, too many battles because it'll just be tedious and just me pressing A multiple times. I'm gonna say, um, each episode must contain, um, at least three battles. Three battles in total. Um, and, actually no, I'm gonna say it's three battles for now, and then, um, the only exception would be boss fights. Alright, so I'll show, like, the first three battles of each area. And then you'll basically get to see how it'll play off, and then I hope you guys like that. And then in Shadow Pokemon Encounters, I'll just cut to when it has a Shadow Pokemon. So this will be the second one, and we beat him without a, without breaking a sweat. So anyways, let's continue on. Okie dokie, go through here. Ironically, this is uh, going backwards from Pokemon Coliseum. This, you actually exited this way, but we're going to be entering in the sequel. So get over here, and oh god. When are they finally gonna get that guy to spill the beans about the purification research? He might be the authority on purification, but if he won't talk, our work's not going anywhere. Damn straight. 
scientists. What are you doing here? And, okay, before I can even answer, you automatically challenge me to battle. Thanks a freaking lot. Jerk. Oh god, he is a lily. Okay. Um, the thing about Lilip is, this is from, I'm terrible at Pokemon, I don't know how that, I don't have that much knowledge, but the thing is, out of all the times I've played Pokemon, like in all the other games and everything, more specifically Emerald, um, I always, whenever I encounter a Lilip or Crad Dilly, Cradily, is that, that's just a little bit more like Cradily, Cradily, I don't know, especially in Wi-Fi battles, those two Pokemon are so annoying to see, I hate it so much, so, um, I'm just trying to get- I'm just gonna get rid of it, like, right now, because, you know, Lilip has the ability to- Well, Lilip and Cradley, I think. They have great defense, and they have the ability to, you know, heal themselves when in battle, which is just... freaking stupid. Well, not stupid, but stupid when it's used against me, because I like it when I have the advantages. Also, my microphone, um, in the last episode I said that my microphone- Oh, don't you dare forget. Um, in the last episode, I mentioned my microphone will is actually different in, um, compared to other episodes. It's actually a really old microphone. The microphone I used back when I was playing um, pretty much my first few LPs. But anyways, Lilip, you're dead. You're dead. You can't see right now, but I am flipping you off so hard. <sighs> that, that actually, that reminds me of a little picture. I don't. It's kind of random, but um, I saw this picture. Actually, it was a drawing of a Kirby. Basically, um, doing its little taunt where it, like, waves his, uh, arms, like, in Brawl or Melee or whatever, he waves his arms up, and it's basically, sa and there's, like, a little, like, text in the bottom saying, I'm flipping you off so hard right now. It was just the funniest thing. I I'm such a child. I'm sorry, I'm such a child. But anyways. Andrew North, you're dead. And Renef. And Anoreth. Anoreth. I need to read. Damn it. Alright, you're dead. And let's go. Doki. So yeah, what have you guys been up to? All I want to do is work on my research. Oh, I pressed A. And when freaking okay, I'll show one more battle, one more battle, and then we're gonna continue because this is taking way too long. But um, because we've only moved like a couple feet within this facility, and it's seven minutes in. <sighs> Just one more battle. Oh, wait, how long is the battle? How long? Okay, three Pokemon. Okay, fine. Fine. We'll take care of it. So yeah, what have you guys been up to? I have been doing homework for the last like, every single day, pretty much. Um, besides summer school, because some of you already guys know that. Uh, I'm also doing uh, AP Bio, a AP Biology, and we have homework for that over the summer, and I have to turn like ten pages of homework. Um, first day of school, which would be really weird. And by the way, that's a Shadow Spinarak. Spinarak. Shadow Spinner. Uh, Spinarak. I don't really know. I don't really know wh what you would do with that. Um, Spinarak. There is. Um, no. Like, I only used it once, and I only used it because I really like Ariados, and I actually ended up beating this game with it. So I guess it served some purpose. But that was probably like my first playthrough of the whole game when I was like. 10 years old just playing the game without me commentating over it. Um, so, I'm just gonna use Confusion and Swinub, Swinub, I don't know how to say his name, Swinub, and he's dead. Little piggy. Sorry there, Porky. Porky. And Teddy is at level 16. Pedo Bear, 16. Okay, anyways. Um, yeah, I don't know, I wouldn't really recommend it, but if you know, you guys have some knowledge on Spinarak, you guys wanna tell me, go ahead and put it in the comments, because I would love to hear about it. Okay, it's a pretty generic poison type, pretty good-ish, I guess. Alright, let's see if we can try to catch this. Okay. You're not dead yet. Alright, no. Tackle. Well, yeah, and then we should probably use the Pokeballs. Our 13 Pokeballs, hopefully we can catch him in one shot, because I don't want to spend all my time sitting here. <sighs> okay, okay. Run. 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 Yes, got it. Sweet. <sighs> Finally caught that. And oh, 
Today's Friday, or no, not today, but the day you guys are watching this, which will be tomorrow for me, is Friday, and tomorrow, or Friday for you guys, is the premiere of Brave, Disney Pixar's Brave, and for those of you who don't know, I'm the biggest Disney fan, like, ever. I freaking love Disney, and I'm so excited for Brave. <sighs> Just thought you guys should know. Tell me in the comments what you guys think, but anyways, if you go over here, a little cutscene emerges. Please, Professor Crane, when will you tell me about your purification study? I do so want to know. That'll let me power on my XD001. I so made it myself. Don't you think that would be just fabulous? Oh, God, one of these guys. Or girls. You've got to be joking. I would never cooperate with people like you. Why? I so don't get it. Why would you refuse an offer so wonderful as this? I don't care how often you repeat yourself. I have no intention of helping or shot a Pokemon plan. Damn straight, Crane. That's how you freaking... Serve it! Mm. Artificially slamming shut? Yeah, we know about this already. You are so mean and closed-minded. You won't even try to understand how marvelous it is to help my XD001. Well, duh! We're the good guys! Anyways. Naps! I would so love a nap right now. I mean, this is also your fault. It's so really good to fight him here. Yeah. Because I was napping. See what I did there? He's been saying all along that he won't help our Shadow Pokemon plan. I can't hear you, this plan is perfect. XD001's condition was off by just a tiny little, tiny little bit. Being off by just a tiny little bit is enough to make it drop a ship? Ooh, that's some information for the audience. That's some dramatic irony. Ironica. Just kidding. It's so all your fault what happened every tiny little bit. You're such a jerk. Seriously. Those- That basically- <laughs> Okay, that girl right there is basically the, um, anime Pokemon addition to, um, or version of a blonde girl of a, in America. Yeah, of a little blonde sister in America. <sighs> Come on, help us with XE001. First, we need to talk. I'll teach you why it's such a bad mistake to create Shadow Pokemon. Huh. Alrighty then. Well, anyways go over here. Did you come here knowing this is Super Slam? I don't want to freaking battle you. I'm just gonna cut this out. I'll meet you guys in a moment. Oh, hey, over here we actually have a Shadow Normal. Numel. Number. Number. Alright, I'm gonna be honest here. Ever since I got Pokemon Ruby, um, back when it like pretty much first came out, like I think I got it like the day of its release, um, I, I found a Numel, Numel, I don't know how to pronounce it. I've always pronounced it Numel. I have no idea what the actual pronunciation is. I didn't watch the anime because I wasn't interested past uh, the second generation, the Johto uh, series. But um, I always call it Numel, so it might be Numel. Someone correct me, please. But please check in the comments if someone already has. Shadow Numel here. It'll it'll evolve into a camera up. I've used it before. It's pretty good up to a point. And believe me, later on you'll know exactly what that point will be. So, just you know, um, if you want to use it, go, if you want to use it, go for it. But I wouldn't recommend it in this game specifically. If you want to use it, then you could use it up to a point, and I'll make note of what point that will be later. And let's get rid of Spiel's reverse mode, and let's use Bite and try to catch Nubble. I'm just gonna cut. Ah, oh, dang it! All right, well. This is, this is gonna explain um, something that I need to tell everyone, that I need to articulate into your minds. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm terrible with words. I don't know why I even tried to say a gigantic word like that. My vocabulary is one of a three-year-old. But anyways, um, so what happens is, uh, if you defeat a Shadow Pokemon, it's different from Pokemon Coliseum. In Pokemon Coliseum, you might have the chance of re-battling that trainer. However, in this game, Something will happen, and then something will pop up sometime soon. Come on, sometime soon. Hello, there it is. Normal fled somewhere. Look for that. It'll basically in XD Gale of Darkness. Rather than going to one specific trainer over and over and over again, or or one specific trainer over and over again to get to catch the Shadow Pokemon, something else will happen. And unfortunately, I can't spoil that yet. But it is a reoccurring character from Pokemon Coliseum that I'm sure everyone remembers. But I think that'll be it for today's episode. So if you like this episode, subscribe, rate, favorite, comment, do all that fancy stuff at the bottom. I will see you guys then. Goodbye and have a great day.